you thrown her here uh, with two very proud uh, Palo Alto Vikings. Uh, I've got Amaya on my left and Kinga on my right. Kinga victorious in the girls' varsity large school race here at the 45th Asics Clovis Invitational 1749-4. Amaya, monster PR, uh, now living in the 17s, 1751-4. Amaya, uh, obviously the smile hasn't left since you came through uh, uh, the finish shoot. Uh, can, uh, can you put uh, words to just how special this moment is for you? Yeah, I had a really bad race at the state meet, so I just remember that while I was running, and I can't believe it. Like, I just raced, and I had no clue that we were that, like, fast. And I just, like, looked at her back the whole time. I was like, if King is doing it, like, you can do it. Most definitely. <laughs> was it the type of thing, that, you know, that you really learned about cer uh, certain areas on the course that you needed to, you know, be more aware of or respect more uh, to, to get yourself you know, kind of in the right mindset for today? Yeah, I think that bad races make you have good races. So I knew where I was like kind of giving up my last race. And when I got to those places, I was like, you can't do this again. Like you need to push through. Most definitely. <laughs> you uh, obviously uh, uh, shared uh, such a huge compliment and boost of confidence for her that like, you know, in the, in the middle part of the race, like, the, you know, even, even though you were ahead of her, like the, the, you were really, uh, really feeding off uh, uh, her energy. Like, how, how profound was that? You know, and you know, really setting you up for that last mile. It really helped because during workouts, it's also how we operate. I mean, sometimes I like stick after Maya, so she sticks after me, and we really like work together on a lot of stuff. Like before the race, I was really nervous because last year I did this on a stress fracture. Actually, I didn't get a good time. I didn't go to states last year. I was really nervous, and my whole thing was like, okay, we're gonna work together. We're gonna cooperate and like take down other athletes who might not have such like a well cooperating team absolutely obviously it broke it broke my heart because i you are you have been so synonymous with this course over the course of your career whether it's been at clovis and the, and the state meet w i mean were you putting any extra like expectation or weight or pressure on uh, on coming back or was it like hey like let's just let's just really enjoy being here and you know and you know whatever i'm blessed with uh today then hopefully i'll be blessed with even more on november 30th back at the state meet yeah so i think i mean my coaches can definitely confirm this with my teammates that i was really I don't know if I was like stressed before the race, more like tense. Like I think I went through this race so many times, like my dreams, like in class, because I had not just a stress fracture, but like multiple injuries at the start of the season. I had like tendonitis. I pulled my calf. Like I think three days before this race, the first three days I had running before like a six-week break and a bunch of other breaks, and like I definitely, it definitely at least pushed me through this race when I was like, okay. I've like fought through so much to be here. I can't give up now. Absolutely. So yeah, that and Amaya really helped. Most definitely. So with that, I mean, not only the two of you. I mean, obviously, brilliant breakthrough uh, uh, for her. You know, you feeling like things are kind of you know back moving in the right direction. Like just you know, especially you know, being a veteran uh, and and knowing what the great moments look like here and knowing what the humbling moments you know uh, can be like. You know, how how meaningful is this for you for the rest of the season, Kinga? Honestly, it's like. I mean, obviously, I can't like ride off of this high and like give up on training, but I think it definitely gave me back a lot of confidence that I lost before this. And it's just like, I don't know, it's a good sign, I think, for me. Most definitely. Am sorry. <laughs> Amaya, uh, when, you're, when you finally have that breakthrough, right? You know, when it's like, when you dream about it, when you, know, when, when you kind of visualize what that looks like and, uh, and, and then you have it, like, uh, uh, how how significant and how impactful is this going to be for you now uh, to, uh, to build in, you know into the second half of the year, the postseason, and hopefully be back here to have a chance to PR again on November, on November 30th at the state meet? Yeah, last year was really hard for me, but it helps me like push through training and stuff. And then moments like this just make me so happy because, like Kinga said, like we know how much we've been through when we race, and it just means so much to me. Awesome. Again, 1751-4 for Amaya, 1749-4 for Kinga, one and three for the Palo Alto Vikings in the girls' varsity large school race at the 45th A6 Colvis Invitational. Ladies, congrats. Great job. Thank you very much.